Right, 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 right. <laughs> now right. it's going to work. I have faith. <laughs> Welcome back to Wine School. Uh, today we're going to be learning about what, right? I'm yeah, how to open a bottle of wine. And the, the way to open a bottle of wine is with a corkscrew. That's the best way. <laughs> Strangely enough, they're sealed with corks. Open them with a corkscrew. And I actually think the best way is with this waiter style corkscrew. You know, they're affordable, they're easy to find, they are totally seamless to use. They're like, you know, it's, 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 it's simple, perfect, it's a great tool. It's the way to open a bottle of wine. Okay, I'm going to just pause for a second on that. So I don't own one of these. So instead, yes. I came to class prepared with some of the tips I found on the internet about how to open um, Well, this is good because everything on the internet is accurate. Okay, so should we try these out? I'm ready. Okay, and I saw you had some nice bottles back here. Can we use those? No. Okay. <laughs> no, we cannot. Okay, I figured <laughs> I thought We're not staff. using my nice bottles of wine <laughs> for your bizarre internet ways to open wine bottles. <laughs> I thought that you might say this, so I brought my favorite, which I think you like, right? Hold on. It's, right? The, uh, it's everybody's favorite two buck chuck. It's a whole lot of two buck chuck. It is. Um, this, we got this whole thing for four dollars, so. That's, that's, that's not two buck chuck, that's like 50 cent chuck. <laughs> yeah, Tr Pinot Grigio, that's a wine. This it is, is it's Pinot Grigio is a wine. You know how you can tell it's a wine? It's in a bottle and it says it's wine. Ray Isle, you heard it here first. That's right. He called it a wine. That's wine, Sold. wine expert. Okay, so the first one, wait, I think I have these cards. The cards are very confusing. Okay, this one's blank. <laughs> so, We're not going to use that method. <laughs> Why is our producer messing up? I know, that's what, yeah. that's what I'm what, that's what What's I'm her doing. name? Um, Jen? No, no, her, her new nickname. Oh, Cougar Juice. Cougar yes. Juice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, think we should cheers both cheers. I mean, double cheers to that. What's up? Yeah, it's a Cougar Juice. Um, Okay, wait, what's our first card? Oh my god, what oh is this? Oh my god, subscribe. That's so we crazy. want you to subscribe. Where did this come from? I, that, I, Cougar Juice. Cougar Juice. <laughs> yeah, and if you do subscribe, then you can watch videos like this, which will teach you to open bottles. Yes, it's all about learning and growing and changing and being. Yes. We'll, we'll just get right into it then. Okay. Okay, so, technique. Place the screw into the middle of the cork and use the screwdriver to secure it to the cork. Leave about one inch of the screw visible. Next, use the end of the hammer, not the flathead, and pull the screw out with the cork attached. Well, how are you with tools? I don't interact with them a lot, but when I do, things yeah. are good. Don't date a tool. Okay, hey, <laughs> uh, look at that, <laughs> wordplay. Yeah, um, woo. <laughs> I'm better with those, I think. Hammer, hammer. Oh, do you want yeah, the blue one? Because you never walk around carrying one of these, but you always walk around carrying a hammer and a screwdriver. <laughs> yes, screw. I am. Okay, we got screws? Yeah, we got screws. I actually don't know if I have screws at home. And screwdrivers. Um, and screwdrivers, yeah. Okay. Which one well, do you want? I don't know. Um, oh. Make sure you've got the right kind of screwdriver. How are you with tools? Um, how's it looking? You tell me. Uh, well, uh, not entirely <laughs> confident. I'm screwing the screw. I'm left-handed. That's what's happening. I'm left-handed too. Are you? That's yes. right. That's right. We're both left-handed. Yeah. And then you're supposed to do this, I think. Oh my God. I'm going so fast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, kind of. Well, it kind of goes up a little bit, and then. Yeah, this is going to come down to doing it this way, I think. Um, Where'd you go? <laughs> um, yeah, this is so much better than a corkscrew. This is. This <laughs> I think this is. <laughs> you're gonna knock your teeth out with that um, hammer. Would you like some help? Um, I think. Hold on. Hot, I got this. This is an issue of feminism now. I think. Look, Ray. I know I don't look like it, but I did take three women's studies classes in undergrad. I'm just gonna point out, 495. <gasps> oh! Works like okay. a charm. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey. Well done. Um, women yeah. can do anything. Women can do anything. This is true. So that so, one works. Well, it works, yes. I, I'm not convinced it's efficient or, or great, but it works. <laughs> I don't know the, what the metric is, but I think that this works yeah. and we so, did it. Yes, you can do that at home if you have tools. Wooden spoon. Technique, take the handle of a wooden spoon. Oh, do you know where this is going? I'm guessing you're gonna use the wooden spoon to try and like bash the cork into the bottle. Yeah, you're correct. I'm not sure this is a good idea either. <laughs> Push the cork down into the bottle of wine. With this method, the cork will get stuck in the bottle and will be pretty hard to remove. Well, it ended on a bit of a sad <laughs> note. <laughs> uh, okay, now, and this is, I don't know if this is for all wines, but specifically with my brand. This is going to be impossible, oh, is what this is going to be, because when you try to push the cork down into the wine and there's wine there, there's nowhere for the cork to go, because it's actually a liquid. Wine is a liquid. Yeah, and okay. well, this is, you know, well. I have done this before. I did this in college. Um, it works well with a less full bottle of wine. Uh, maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work great. Spoons? Oh, right. See, this is not going to work. 
This is a ridiculous way to open a bottle of wine. There you go. Yeah, that works. Here, you do mine. For real? Yeah, sure. Go okay. ahead. You just take the credit for <laughs> All that. All yours. I think it's it's less about the pounding. It is less about the pounding. <laughs> <laughs> or about the hey. faith. There you go. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. This is also my roommate's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that glass costs more than that bottle of wine. Does it? <laughs> By a lot. <laughs> okay, I'll be super careful. So this is super easy. Um, yeah. Everybody can do this at home. We saw how easy it was. So, and then you just pour it. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, just give it a little, like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> mm. Warm. Warm, warm that, white wine. Way. Nothing like it. Since all you have is a spoon, <laughs> you probably don't have a refrigerator either. Yeah, and <laughs> if you, instead of aerating it, if you can't swirl it, you can take your spoon, give it a good stir. Yeah. Wine school is not having a good effect on you. <laughs> so I get to do this one? Yeah, you have right wanting to read cool. one. Okay. <laughs> Technique. Apply heat from a blowtorch. Okay. Oh, uh, to the neck of the bottle. Okay. Um, no, I think this is I wait, stop. Hold uh, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this has a safety because it's only for professionals. So uh, um, professional. Yeah. I'm gonna turn off the lock button and um, light it. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. <Wow. laughs> you can just open a bottle with that. You can just hit it right here. Yeah, no, 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 I'm vetoing the blowtorch. I think I'm just gonna take this, <laughs> take, take your this blowtorch. back to my desk. Don't okay. go like blowtorch a duck breast or something. <laughs> Either way, make sure, if the, if, in case you decide to blowtorch something, make sure the bottle is at room temperature, otherwise it will explode. Who doesn't keep their white wine at room temperature? <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> Are you crazy? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hand this back to you. Okay, you yeah. tried, I Ray. tried with the blow, I, mean, I got blowtorch and I decided no blowtorch. Wire hanger. Twist the hanger into the shape of a corkscrew or hook and wiggle the cork out by pulling the hanger. Also, there's some YouTube links that we can click on. Yeah, it's not really clicking, is it? Is it working? So we just need wire hangers. Wire hangers. Ooh. Ooh like magic. Do you want, are we? I'm gonna take the, you can, you, can, you can advertise the Chin Brothers cleaners. Hello, sponsored. Yeah. Not sponsored? That's right. Okay, so we twist which part where into a, Maybe like this was your idea. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> kind of curious is like, if you, I mean, you could put in, make it in something that will go through the cork, but then how do you pull the cork out? Yeah, kind of no. looked at those YouTube links before <laughs> we started shooting this thing. I was, I th once again with the, I think that we can figure this out. Okay, so you just shove it down there and then twist it and then pull it up. Hook at the end. Like that. Oh yeah. Again, I remain skeptical. I don't know. I, I feel like we've had pretty. S Pretty successful methods thus far. We have. And the blowtorch would have been another one. This hook seems too big. This, I think we need thinner hangers. Damn it, Jen. Look, it worked. Oh, really? So good, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Ray, I can see that corkscrew. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you, you could spend $4.95 on a corkscrew, or you could try and do this. No, no, no. This is, this is about more than that. Safety gloves. These are my gloves that I use. Uh, what do you use those for? <laughs> <laughs> did it go in? Hey, did it go in? It went in. It went in. And now we just work it a bit. And okay, so we, we are um, submerged. You have now succeeded in putting a hanger into your <laughs> wine bottle. Damn it. I got a chunk in it. You got a chunk can of cork in your wine? Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't really matter because you're never actually going to open it. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Why do they seal these things? I don't know about this one. So I'll admit defeat on this one. Next method. You ready? Mm hmm It's called smack it. Smack it. Wrap two towels around the bottle and bang it repeatedly against the wall. Don't bang the bottle against the wall too hard or else it may break. The motion should be done at the same force that the bottle does not break. I have done this before. Yeah. Well, you can do it with a shoe. Uh, yeah, you can do it with a shoe. Or a boot. Actually, cowboy boots work pretty well. Okay, I have some like sort of those are, those are good. Those these are like are your train boots. mechanic boots. Okay, yeah. so we should use these. I think we need to use those. So, full disclosure, I don't ever take these off myself. 
you want me to pull them off for you? <laughs> Can I borrow a boot? Oh, Ray, I thought you'd never <laughs> ask. So we put the... Bottle in the boot. Bottle in the boot. Then you basically slam the boot against the wall, right? Should we go by the freight elevators? Right? We could go by the freight elevators. Freight elevators? Yes. All right. So Let's right over it. here. <laughs> it's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> How often do you walk around in your socks <laughs> in this building? No one has looked surprised. So those Trader Joe's corks are kind of insanely tight in the bottle, so I'm going to try it with a different wine. This is actually oh, a really man. good Chin and Blanc from Habit. I hope it just pops out, Ray. And it's going to be so good. It just glides out after one. It's not doing anything. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah, life is hard. Not for sure. But it is attracting attention over there. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. After oh my you. God. It's Ray, 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 Ray. No, Ray. it's going to work. I have faith. <laughs> Totally working. It's it's totally not working. I'm seeing a small victory. Small, uh, very tiny victory. Uh, you need time. like metal shoes. Metal shoes <laughs> yeah. and thinner hangers. So Ray, you said some of these in fact some, function. Some work. Some function. The screw worked. The the blowtorch was going to cut short tragically. Yeah. Shoe didn't work. Shoe didn't work. Spoon. Oh, the spoon. The spoon worked. Yeah. It was such a good time. It was. That was the. <laughs> that was the moment. That was that. Uh, that will live in memory forever. It will. So I guess now, I'll try your way because you did. You were a good sport and you tried all of my ways. So. Um, I... They have the foil on. Okay. You can cut the foil off. You take your little knife, right? Ooh. Yeah. Got a little knife here. Nice. You can kind of push it up against the little rim of the thing here. Okay. We're using technical terms. Yeah. The rim of the thing. What is this tab thing? You can use well, that too. Well, that's the cheap wine. You could actually use that to pull the top off. But we're doing it some cool. anyway. Okay. So then you do that and uh, pull off the cap. Like that. Cap string. Nice. Or you, you did it in the, one. You can just pull the string. Thing. You did. You did one motion. If I had a wooden spoon, this thing would already be open. I just want to say that. Okay. And you take your th this. Mm -hmm. You know the screw part. You. Kind of put it at an angle like that, so you push the little tip of the screw into the cork. Okay. Then you start to screw it in. I'm left-handed. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing you're doing exactly the same thing as me because I'm left-handed too. I know, but I put in my right. I was doing it with my right hand. If you're left-handed, do stuff with your left hand. <laughs> so you Very kind of wise. Like, you know, screw the thing down like this. Now, if you look at this corkscrew, it's got two little levers here, mm -hmm. like here. See? Oh, no, this sure. And this. These. So you screw it pretty far down. And then you use this lower one, or the, this one here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you push it against the, yeah. Is that right? And then Bump. you pull up. Yeah. Okay. And then you can use, once it's up a little, you can use the other one, like that. Okay. To pull the cork the rest of the way out. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> This was a little easier, I guess. I, it is way easier than hammering a bottle against a wall in a shoe. It's a good stocking stuffer for whenever Christmas yeah. is. Again, weirdly, it costs more than the wine in this case. Oh, yeah. You might invest in some slightly more expensive wine. You could. <laughs> see, that's the issue that I have. Yeah. It's like, that is, what, 15 bottles of Trader Joe's wine I could get? <laughs> hey, if you want to use a screwdriver and a screw, go for it. You're